Raspberry Chick and today I'm going to be talking about my Shrekathon TBR. So Shrekathon is two week long readathon going from May 15th to May 30th and it centers around Shrek and all the other characters. I gotta tell you guys, I am so psyched about this readathon. I mean, a readathon about Shrek. Like, what could be better? Like, that's so good. So the first one is Shrek, which is read a book with green on the cover. And I picked it's not summer without you. I feel a little misled though because the spine is green and the cover really isn't. But it counts! Okay, it counts! I'm really excited about this because I just read The Summer I Turned Pretty and I read it in like a day. Like, it was so good. So, I'm really excited about reading the sequel. So It's Not Summer Without You is about Belly not going to Cousin's Beach. And so she's with her best friend Taylor and so she's talking about you know, going to the pool and meeting all these new boys. Apparently, she was in a relationship with Conrad. I'm a little surprised they're saying, oh yeah, there was a relationship with Belly and Conrad, but that's over. Huh? That They didn't have that in the first book. Like, yeah, at the very end, he was there with her, but, huh? Like, we're, we're not gonna get we're not gonna find out how their relationship worked out? I'm a little like, huh? Really? It sounds pretty interesting. I'm really hoping it's as good or better as The Summer I Turned Pretty. Like, I really enjoyed this. Like, I'm really happy about it. Next up is Princess Fiona, which is read a book with a fairy tale retelling. So I'm gonna read Dorothy Must Die. In this book, Dorothy's the villain. And so the main character, must kill Dorothy. Wow. But yeah, I'm hoping it's a good time. I've had this for the what, five years? And I haven't picked it up once. So like, this is a perfect opportunity. So hopefully it's a good time. Next up is Donkey, which is read a book with an animal on the cover. So I picked Talon. It ends up working out perfectly that it's a dragon because it's Donkey after all. And we all know how that worked out. So the main character and her twin are both dragons and as it turns out they're the only ones that are twins known to dragon kind so that's kind of wild. I legit just looked at the description. I don't really know what to make of it but I'm looking forward to it because it is by Julie Kagawa and I loved the immortal rules. Like it wasn't perfect I'm sure but I really enjoyed it so I'm hoping this ends up being fun as well. Next up is Puss in Boots and that is read a book by a foreign author. So I picked Alex Approximately. It took me a little while to search and find something by a foreign author, like legit. Like I have so many American books. As it turns out, Jen Bennett, she's from Germany. So hey, thanks Shrekathon host. I never would have known about this trivia if not looking something up for this readathon. So this book is basically You've Got Mail, but YA. Alex approximately is about Bailey, the main character, and Alex. And the two of them, they're major film geeks and they have this chat they're on online. So they talk a lot and they keep on talking about meeting, but Bailey's kind of nervous. And then it turns out that Bailey is going to be moving in with her dad in the same California town that Alex is in. But because she's so nervous, she decides not to tell him. Things start happening with this guy Porter. And Porter, oh, she just hates him. He is the worst. They're definitely rivals. They do not like each other. And of course, as it turns out, Porter is Alex, approximately. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of drama in this book. I am ready for it. Also, what's really cool about this book, for each chapter, they have a line of dialogue from movies. And first thing you got to know about me is I love movies. I'm that film geek. Like, I can relate to these characters. But yeah, like that's gonna be a lot of fun to read and now that I'm reading this book, I should rewatch You've Got Mail. Next up is Gingerbread Man, which is read a book with food on the cover. So I picked The Evil Queen. This is another one where the spine has it, but the cover doesn't, but it counts. So got, of course, the apple 
for the evil queen of Snow White. So in this story, we follow the evil queen. And as it turns out, the fairy tales are not myths. They're prophecies of the future. Everly, the main character, she lives in the mortal world. But then she starts being able to communicate with Mears and she finds out about her prophecy, which is that she is destined to kill Snow White. And so she returns to her birthplace, which is the realm of Enchantia. She meets the Prince Charming guy and of course they're really into each other, but their fate is doomed. So that's not good. But of course, Everly does not want to do this, you know, she's gonna try her best to be a good person, but things start happening, betrayals happen, and she keeps on thinking, hmm, maybe being evil isn't so bad. So she has to really weigh in on being good or being evil. So it sounds pretty interesting, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Next up is the bonus which is read a book with adventure. So I picked End of Days. I can't tell you much about this because this is the third book in the Penryn and the End of Days trilogy. One thing you gotta know about me, I love Angel Fall. That's the first book. Five stars, and I hardly give out five stars. Like, it is so good. Like, I would recommend it to literally anyone. If you wanna read a good book, read Angel Fall. So I'm really hoping this one ends up being a good time as well. Unfortunately, World After, the sequel's Angel Fall, mm, I did not like it. So I'm really hoping this one's a good time. And that will be all for my Shrekathon TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Catch you later!